There is this experience of being, you know, one of the first users on what is the fastest machine in the world or one of the fastest machines in the world and just having access to that level of resource uh, for the first time is very exciting. So El Capitan is the NNSA's first exascale system. It's a system we've been uh, working with HPE and AMD to deploy here at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory for the last six or so years. El Capitan's mission is to address the most challenging problems that the NNSA has for the Stockpile Stewardship Program. Our mission at the lab has uh, increased in complexity dramatically over the past 10 to 15 years. We had two modernization programs kind of come online at the same time, and those had new requirements for modeling and simulation. So Sierra, the uh, previous advanced technology system at Livermore Computing, was a 125 petaflop peak system. El Capitan is more than 20 times as capable as Sierra. To put that in perspective, most modern cell phones are on the order of two teraflops. You would need one million cell phones to equal the power of El Capitan. El Capitan is a game changer for science and for our programmatic mission. As a result of the power of El Capitan, we'll be able to ask questions and answer them with more detail, we'll answer them faster, and we'll be able to solve more problems. And the sheer size of El Capitan means we can take that that single node problem and scale it up to something that we've never been able to do before. We're very excited about the Rabbit modules from HPE. These are advanced storage devices that provide near node local storage. This enables a set of compute nodes to access the same physical resources directly and quickly as if they were directly mounted on those compute nodes. In addition, we've been working throughout the entire project directly with AMD, the manufacturer of all of the processors in, in El Capitan. So the APUs that make up El Capitan's compute node were spec'd out for our modeling and simulation mission, but turns out there are the same compute engine that is driving the AI boom that we're seeing today, and we fully expect to take advantage of that and use this machine not only for modeling and simulation, but for large-scale AI training and inference. The potential for science on this machine is amazing, uh, not just in the national security enterprise with El Capitan, but also in the general open science enterprise with Tuolumne. Tuolumne is a smaller version of El Capitan. Its mission is to do unclassified science for the entire laboratory and our collaborators. It will be a world-class resource used to solve problems in material science, nuclear structure, astrophysics, climate science, and many others. We started this partnership with HPE and AMD over five years ago. Since that point, we've been working hand in hand with each other, not only to get the system built, but to get the applications ready so that on day one, the system is effective for our needs. I am thrilled and ecstatic that, that El Capitan has been delivered, installed, accepted, and is showing its power with the top 500 runs. It is a journey that, that has uh, been long and hard, but very rewarding. El Capitan will prove revolutionary for our, our application scientists. And that fills me with a tremendous sense of pride, particularly after the, the many years of, of effort that have gone into building what is, I think, the, the most beautiful system we've ever built. What's truly special, not only about this big team effort, is that it's driven by the mission of the National Nuclear Security Administration. We are really aimed at their goals and delivering capability that this group of people need to drive their mission forward. It's one big mission and we're all working towards that goal.